going on guys? Andy Cho with It's Showtime. It's uh, 10, 16, 2, 52 p.m. today and it's like the first day that felt like winter. Snow, sleet, wind, leaves flying everywhere. Uh, feeling a little bit chilled when you go outside and come back in. So we're getting close to that prime time where it's going to get uh, awesome, right? So today I'm gonna showcase a new product that I picked up. It's the Clam Rise float suit. Uh, it's their least bulky ice ice suit that they have. They have the Ascent and then they have the Rise. I went with the Rise because um, me being 5'7", 140 pounds, every pound that gets added onto my system is that much more work. So my thought process of buying the rise suit was to reduce the weight, but I can always layer up. Um, I know that there's a bunch of liners and stuff, but all the zippers and everything else that they add in is additional weight that you know I don't want to haul. But that's, that's my whole philosophy on why I picked rise suit versus the ascent suit so I got a piece of paper I'm gonna reference it a few times and I'm gonna go back up and down I'll roll in the footage while we discuss the suit itself um, and kind of explain again why I picked it so level set I have owned the rain suit made by Cabela's it's the uninsulated version. I've been running that for many years. Picture. Uh, red suit. Love that thing. Super lightweight. Keeps my mobility uh, going real strong and hard without exerting too much energy when you're out on the ice tugging that insanely heavy load in the sled that you got behind you. The other suit that I have run in the past uh, is the Strike striker ice suit it's the predator bibs and the climate jacket um, again really really solid suits but they did feel bulky on me and i the sizing just wasn't quite there for my body type so those i have moved off to the side moving on to clam uh, some of the pros on why i picked that up the knee pads um, i've run the striker ice knee pads and other than the Cordura, you know, heavy, thick um, padding that they put on the, the knee pad, the clam knee pads are reinforced with at least a quarter inch foam or something in, in between the layers of the knee. So it actually feels like, like a, a knee cup. So it forms when you knee, kneel down and it's very comfortable. Hard to explain, but it's very nice. There's adjustments. I think that's pretty standard these days. So you can adjust for your height. Uh, I would imagine, I, I went with a small suit because the sizing at the medium felt like I had a hula hoops on and it was just wobbly and very, didn't fit right. So small, 5'7", 140 is the perfect size suit. Um, let's see, so, again, I was saying the sizing is true. It's very warm, uh, no bulk. It's got the motion float technology in it. If you do fall, you, there's a bunch of demos, demonstrations on that as well. Uh, and, they, and they have this inside waterproof pocket which allows you to stick your phone in just in case something were to happen uh, I believe there's some room for improvements there which I'm sure eventually down the line they'll they'll improve but the plastic pocket is kind of uh, sticky so as you try to move it in and out it's gonna catch so it might cause frustrations early early on until you break it in some of the cons that I've seen is Velcro in the pockets. Um, typically, Velcro always fails. No matter how bomb-proof Velcro is, it will always fail. I would like to see more buttons and the zipper uh, style versus the Velcro. But the Velcro on there right now seems of high quality, so I do hope that it'll last longer than normal non, let's say, commercial slash industrial grade Velcro. There's no boot level reinforcements with higher level Cordura fabric, so wear and tear may be noticed there. 
that's another maybe future improvement that they can eventually bring into the into the mix but I mean most people when they walk the suits are bulky enough as itself that you're gonna chafe right and it's gonna wear over time I would like to also see shoulder straps the little plastic keeper I think that keeps the straps together so you don't have to constantly do this or do this always trying to adjust them back up the strappings do seem pretty solid so I do hope that they last a decent decent long uh, time from new so we'll see about that that that's a um, to be determined thing and that's really kind of what we and what I have noticed from the product itself I'll now demonstrate what it's like Then you got your chest zippers right here. Uh, no problems fitting my 11 Pro. It's not the Mac. Pocket, again, you fit this. That's kind of where I think I'll leave my phone for the most part. Here. Side pockets with fleece lining on the Zips, both sides. Strings to cinch it down, to cut down on drafts. And then the cell phone uh, pouch as well for waterproof factor. Mm -hmm. 